So let's take a break at Jacobitz Learning again. We're going to go into the stock market. Maybe some of the information we're giving is going to be obvious, but we're hoping, like Mr. Banker here, he can explain some of the things, we can explain some of the things, and show you what really is going on. So basically, the two types of stock are either going to be preferred or common. Some people will say, yeah, but I've heard of private issue. We'll get into that later. Uh, preferred, obviously, most people think it means better. And in terms of if there is a bankruptcy, preferred stockholders are paid first. But in terms of other things, it depends upon you as the investor and what you intend to do. Common stock is usually one one hundredth or one percent of a stock unless it's pulled together like in a mutual fund and we'll go over this. Okay, so preferred stocks usually are listed in an IPO initial public offering. You can buy them sometimes it costs more, you can't buy them as penny stocks. And remember penny stocks are stocks that are under five dollars. Uh, they use the word penny because it means like, it just means a word that is, uh, that costs less than the average. And there's a lot of warnings about penny stocks and how they start and this, but we won't get into that. You have to look at the overall market on how they're doing. Okay, there are four types of common stock. And one is authorized, and this means that it's allowed to be issued, but not necessarily issued. It's just allowed. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily go out to the public. Then you have issued, it's sold to the public. And this, uh, this word ish issued actually means something funny because we, you can issue somebody a stock, like a private issue, but then like it only has a worth after a certain amount of days. And so we could say issued can be private, dark placements, or for people who like have a certain net worth and income. And then here's the thing that concerns most of us as stock uh, investors is the outstanding stock. Okay, so this is stock that was that came here, issued out, purchased, and is now in someone's hands. So outstanding means that it's in your hands and it's sold to the general public. Usually you can go on you know, your normal platforms and I don't want to give names without getting permission, but you know, any general platform you guys use, um, you can go online or you can go to a shareholder, you know, if you think that you want to get into shareholder, I'm sorry, you can go to a stockbroker if you think that you can get into issued stock. Treasury stock. It's not the government stock, it's treasured stock that is held in reserves of the corporation, and they can sell it later. They can reissue it, you know, uh, in case they have to do restructuring for their corporation, any of that. So this is all the things that happen here. And up above, I'm just, this is a little screenshot. I'm going to show you something that goes on the stocks. Okay, now, anyway, this is common, allowed to be purchased. Remember, I said it was one one hundredth of. This is what... Uh, someone owns here. This is what they own in this here, but this is a pool of common stock funds. And I know we went over before a pool of common stock funds like a mutual fund, but let me show you how stocks here. So this is a share of the total value. This is not the total value of the company stock. And again, I don't want to give it out. Another reason I can't tell you the name of the company is that the Securities Exchange Commission does not want the company to give permission to certain people to go out and advertise their products because it looks like there's favorable treatment. So this is not total outstanding. This is just what's in one person's portfolio. So again, I can't give you the name. It's an SEC guideline. 
we can cut the name off and show you like pretty much how this really works. Okay, we'll go over what these eyes mean a little bit. Right now, just look at numbers and look at what's in there in investment value. Remember, it's a percentage of 1%. Okay. So now that you know the percent number and you go 00.12, what is the number of outstanding shares? Well, you have to go back to the company and you go to the website, you can look at their prospectus and see if it's in there. Uh, there's a magazine called Morningstar. It's expensive, you don't have to. Sometimes they list like when they're gonna do initial public offerings or IPOs. You can also this, and I know a lot of us, when we go online, we like, I don't care, blah, 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 let me not read the prospectus, but usually they tell you what's happening, okay, and um, they can give you a general idea, if not a specific idea, of how much stock is issued. So then next, we want to go on over to what's actually happening, are the number of shares issued 4,700,000 with 600,000 reserved as treasury stock because any outstanding amount is here and then you take the, the 0, 0 0.12 and you get your answer. So if you were to take 0, 0 0.12 and you do it times $4,100,000, you know, you're going to get the percent, you're going to get like, um, 49,200 shares of stock, but here's the deal. It's placed in a pool with other stocks. So obviously one person does not own like that amount. It's rather the all the people together who own this stock and that percentage of 49 200 so in actual reality person owns like 4.9 percent of total outstanding shares okay so that doesn't give you anywhere close to you know the amount of money that comes up and it's really not going to give you 241,080 shares it's going to be more like 4.9 of whatever is pooled. So let's say uh, 2,401. This is from the last slide. 241,000, I'm sorry, eight shares were pooled. It's you guys in that one stock. It's all you guys, all you people. Shared of this. So then you get, so maybe you'd have like a total of like 9,643 total shares of that, of all the stocks. Okay, this line here means it doesn't mean you own this much of this. This is just what you own and this is the value. Okay, so if you think about it, if that's the value and there are 4,100,000 outstanding shares and the value of each one is like, let's just say 11, let's say $17, then you're talking about 69, 700 million shares and you own this much of that. It's a good way to find out the other million shares. So like, you're not gonna be completely wealthy from this, are you? No, you're just gonna have a certain amount that's outstanding, of which your value of what's outstanding of the 69, 700 million it's going to be this is the number and this is the value so when you when you look at this is your I'm sorry this is your value the 18,004 this is your value 
So when you look at how much you own, you only owe 18,000, <laughs> excuse me, $18,000 roughly, $18,000, $18,004 of this total amount. So you're not a majority shareholder, but you do get voting rights. You do get this. But now, uh, hopefully, when you're looking at this, you can kind of understand, you know, why so many people go out and place different numbers of stocks, different numbers, and try to get their get the money up, get the dollars up, so that they can start getting into more shares so they can start being owners. And keep in mind, too, that sometimes a company only issues like 20% of its stock out and calls that outstanding. So it depends on the company. So when you leave this video, please don't think that each company allows you to owe like 4.9% of shares of outstanding in a pool and therefore you own 4.9% of that company. Actually this number here shows exactly opposite. It's impossible, you can't own that much and so if you actually do the math, if that were real, over 87, you know, you'd own more like 2.5%. 2.5% of the company. Now, I don't mean to be negative because that's not bad. Okay, when you're out here, if the market is changing, that is certainly better than nothing. But please don't walk around saying, I'm an owner, I own, I own. What you're doing is you're building equity so far than owning. And also, you have another responsibility to either get your stockbroker or you to do it to make sure that this 2.5 that you own doesn't go down too much lower and that this value goes up. You want your dollars up. If you put that much money in, that's what you're doing. Okay, so let's talk about this I. Uh, since when, when this I comes up on this platform, this website's, um, and I say platform because the platform is put on the website, comes up, this I means, wait a minute, information, it's not all there. So it means this is the information as of June 30th, which was yesterday. And as of June 30th, this was the amount before 15 days prior. Because over the last 15 days, this person withdrew. And see how I say with, with see how I say redeemed? When you're doing stocks, they'll say redeemed and withdrew. And they either put it in another fund or on another platform or it got sent somewhere to a bank. Um, of course, I'm not going to tell you what bank on the internet, but anyway. Um, they were sent to a bank, financial institution, or another trading platform. So, you know, this, this is how basically this works. If you have any questions, we're the Jacobitz Learning Group. Hope you kind of understand how this is working. And I know some other financial news platforms, you know, and, and stations go over this, but we just wanted to go over it because we have some students here who were, you know, running around buying things and thinking they own more than what they did. So we're putting it out. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.